So this dude is one of two guys who has asked Ember, that's me, asked her out, except I'm pretty sure they're going to like straight up carry her and it's just going to be a mess because, and then on top of that, she is now in debt to like one of the school bullies because they, because her mom sold her dress for lottery scratch off tickets. Like this is insane, but we're just going to get started. Ember, there you are. Look, I know Aiden asked you to the prom as well, but I've liked you for a really long time, and I'm sorry if I've been mean to you over the years. Oh no. I'm really, really frightened for her. I'm just a stupid boy who doesn't know how to act around girls he fancies. Oh no. No, no, no. I'm a little concerned about you. Amber! Oh, here's this dude. Okay. I just want to let you know that I want this more than Toby does. Oh my god. I really, really like you, Ember. I liked you for way longer than he has. Why is this a competition? And I'll never be mean to you again. Ack! What do I do? Okay. So, they've both apologized. I don't believe them, but Ember probably does. So I'm going to go for the person who I feel had the most sincere apology. And I think that was Toby. Because Toby at least, like, contextualized what he was saying. It's like, oh, I'll never be mean to you again. At least he was like, you know what? I'm a dumb boy. I was being mean for no reason. And I apologize. That's something different. I picked Toby. Awesome! Okay. Episode 1. School finishes, you run to the nearest dress store, almost tripping over your own feet. Oh my god, I'm running. Ah! Wow, there's so much to choose from. It's a dress store, Ember. Alright. Oh, here's the... Okay, that is a sales lady. I'm looking to buy a dress for my prom tonight. Your prom tonight? You've left it a bit late to be buying your dress, haven't you? Yeah, it's just I wasn't going until this morning. Not to worry, not to worry. We have, a, we have a fantastic selection of palm dresses here. Okay, well, because I always get really annoyed when people are like, oh, you got your prom dress, like, super, super, like, late in the game. I went to a wedding and uh, not that long ago, and I bought my dress, like, literally the week of because I didn't really know what I was going to wear. And literally, I just walked in, picked up my dress, it fit, and I left. Like, it's not that hard. We have a gorgeous classic golden one. A sleek scarlet fitted dress. A lacy vintage dress if you're a retro kind of girl. An angelic white dress if you're the innocent type. A stunning short black dress, always a winner. And last but not least, we have a striking deep violet dress that'll make you stand out from the crowd. Would you like to see and try any of these on? Yes, please. Okay, before we do, let's let down that hair of yours. You're not going to want to get good to your prom with your hair in a ponytail. Ooh, her hair got shiny. Much better already. All right, I'll give you some recommended jewelry with each outfit as we try them on. Which dress would I like to try? I kind of want to see the golden one, even though I'm more of a vintage, I think I might be more of a vintage person in style, but I don't think I would ever go for a vintage dress, like, for prom. But I've gone with more, like, my senior prom was, like, the most black and red gothic thing you'd ever seen. Like, it was very, it was very, like, off the beaten path for me. So let's try the golden one. And then go from there. I don't feel like it's going to look good on her. But it's just, it, it is what I would pick. Certainly, follow me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is a contender. You look fabulous, my dear. I would like to try another one. Because that one is pretty. It is a contender. But we're going to try again. Let's try another one on, please. Uh, let's try the try the angelic one. Because I feel like that would look really good with like her brown hair. Oh, this is a fashion sim. I love it. Oh, that'll be perfect for you. Follow me. Especially because she's so innocent and she's never dated a boy before. I feel like that'd be a really interesting thing to go with. Oh, I do not like that. That's not innocent. Beautiful. Like, you've just fallen from the heavens. She needs, like a tiara or something for that. She looks like a bridesmaid. I don't like it. Let's try another one on, please. Alright, let's go with the vintage. Let's see the vintage, because, you know, 
that is the other one that I would go for, but that wouldn't look good on me, and I would eventually pick another one. Okay, retro one. Oh, okay, I'm frightened already. I don't like her face, because I feel like she doesn't... That's the vintage one? That's cute. And that's... The, 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 the skirt is a little strange. And then the top is like a wedding dress. I'm not... Alright, so we've tried on those. Let's try Scarlet. So right now the golden one is the contender. I don't like the pearls. I think the pearls threw me off. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, God. It looks good, but it's not a prom dress. Come on. That's not a prom dress. Let's go for the black one, and then the violet, and then if I don't like any of them, we'll go for the golden one. Because the golden one was really cute. Eh. Eh. But that we stun when he sees you in this, my dear. You look incredible. I... Eh. Try to... The thing is, is that wouldn't Toby have to match me? I'm confused. Let's see the violet. The deep violet one. Okay. It's just that weird little thing in the middle. I don't like it. Let's see it. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Let's go back to the golden one, see if I like it and I remember it. Her makeup is like ridiculous. All right, there it is. That I liked. The um, the jewelry is a bit much, but it's okay because I actually I really like the skirt. I like everything about this, and it like it blends in with her skin. Like it glows, it pops. I like it. Look fabulous, my dear. I'm going to buy this one. This is the one. It's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's the best one out of all of them. I like to buy it, please. I'm so excited. <laughs> You don't see me, but I'm fist pumping. Just like her. Whoa! Okay, let's take some payment for that before it gets ripped, shall we? Okay. But back in your bedroom later that evening. I just realized I just got super dressed up for some boy who's going to screw me over. The sales assistant was so nice to me. Nobody's ever told me I look beautiful. Oh, sweetheart. You do. You do look beautiful, you fictional character. I can't wait to go downstairs and show my mom this dress. She's going to rip it off of you for scratch tickets. I think she might finally... Oh, my God. I think she might finally be proud of me. Oh, look at the time. It's almost 7 o'clock. Toby will be here soon. Okay, Ty, show my mom and dad what I look like. They're not going to care. And it's going to break my heart. I just... I can't do this. Hey, Mom. Dad. Gather by the living room door. Oh, they're not already there? This is, this is an iconic moment in your life. For God's sake, Ember, we're trying to watch the soaps. Please. I just... I just want to show you something. Here it goes. They're not going to care, and it's going to break my heart. Like, I'm actually really upset. Her, like, her dad is... I hate them. I see your daughter like she's never looked before. Hurry it up, Ember. The documentary about the on about those hundred people who went missing from London in 2012. They reckon they got abducted by aliens. I mean, all right, and much much more of it. You're gonna be in trouble. What do you think? Where the hell did you get a new dress from? Better not have been in my purse, young lady. You stole my prom dress. Don't go there. I haven't touched your purse, mom. Don't worry about where I got the money to buy it, okay? How does it look on me? Don't worry about the, where you got the money to buy it. Ember, you stupid, stupid girl. Whoever lent you that money is going to want it back. How are you going to pay them back, eh? If you think it's coming out of my bingo winnings, you got another thing coming. It's fine, Mom. I'll pay them back. I gotta get myself a job this week. Get yourself a job? Ember, we're in a recession. <laughs> Wow, this got real. Uh, you don't just say you're going to get yourself a job and then just walk into a place to start work. Uh, yeah, mm, no you don't. Please, can we just not focus on the money? I just want to hear what you guys think of me. I just want... 
I just want you to say you're proud of me. Uh oh. Don't approach her. Ember, they're just saying that perfectly describes the way you look right now. Really? It's an old saying, and I don't know who came up with it. But it goes like this. You can put lipstick on a pig. But at the end of the but at the end of the day it's still a pig. Oh my god. Oh my god, like this is upsetting. People people play this game, like for real. Jesus Christ. Like she looks beautiful. I spent so much time picking out her dress. Like you'll you'll know, you'll see. Pig, is that what I am? They were finally gonna say something nice to me. Okay, pull yourself together, Ember. Toby will be here any minute now. I'll just wait up here for him. No! You gotta be downstairs. They're gonna send him away. Fifteen minutes later. What is taking him so long? Oh, he's not gonna show. Oh, thank God. Thank God, that's him. Can't believe this is actually happening. Carl, where are you? Carl! I'm on the bog. Who is it? It's your brother. He wants his power drill back. Oh, damn. I'm just gonna have to wait. Fried chicken we had for dinner made me constipated. Classy. I'm gonna be in here at least half an hour. Just my Uncle John. 20 minutes later. So we were supposed to call 35 minutes ago. He's... He's not coming, is he? She- Oh my god. I would have rathered him pick her up. Like, now she's in debt. He's changed his mind. <laughs> I should take this dress off and return it to the store. Yeah, you should. And then give the money back to her. Ember. Look, Ember. I know leaving school is a strange time in anyone's life. But you're 16. It's time to stop making up imaginary friends. Especially imaginary boyfriends. <laughs> we let you carry on until now because we knew you couldn't get any real friends. But when you make up an imaginary date to take you to the prom, at some point you have to realize that no one's going to be knocking on that door. No, Mom, you don't understand. Toby's a real guy. He's real. I swear. He. I don't want to hear it, Ember. This is ridiculous. You're taking money from God knows who to buy that dress to impress a boy that doesn't exist. It's beyond a joke. No one was coming to take you to the prom. I mean, yeah, no one was coming to take me to the prom, but it was a real dude that asked. Will you get that into your thick head? Linda! The last time, John, you'll have to wait for Carl to get out of the loo. I don't know where your bleeding power drill is. No, it's not that. There's a lad in a tuxedo at the door. Oh. It says his name's Toby. He's looking for Ember. Jesus, to be continued, enjoying the story. Would you like a quick push notification when a new chapter is available? Um. Okay, but don't spam me. Oh, you have push disabled. We have no way of knowing. Be sure to check the setting app if you think you're missing out. One pass? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have to pay for... Alright, let's start episode two. Episode two, two doors. Toby! No way. You were telling the truth? Of course I was. You're an awful, awful mom. You should, you should feel bad. Like, like, as a mom, you should feel bad. Basically, we started at the, um... We started right as Toby was, like, coming up, and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I was stuck, stuck in traffic. Um, and the only thing that you've missed is a couple frames of him saying, oh, wow, she looks beautiful. And I'm a little concerned for her right now, because she's going to buy right into this crap. But let's, let's do it. Thanks. Come on, let's go before we miss any more of the night. Oh, God. Okay. And now she's going. And look how happy she looks. I'm very concerned. Oh, her dad's here to... Oh. Way to just piss all over her night. Oh, God. All right. So, scene's over.
After a short taxi ride, you arrive back at Kingstaff High. Oh, oh my god, like, she's bought into all this. Like, ugh, I just want to give her a hug. I hate her, but I want to give her a hug. It's fine, Ember. Come on, let's go inside. Okay, so they're going. Alright, they're going. She looks cute. Mm, oh. I I'm a little upset that this, um... This fictional, this fictional, like, bully has the same name as Michael Jones and Lindsay Jones' baby, who they, who, like, apparently he just had, they just had the kid last night. So I'm very, I'm just like, aw, it was such good news to, like, to, like, read and stuff. But anyway, let's get back to this bullshit. Uh, would you like a drink, Ember? I'd love one. I think they're serving mocked mocktails. Just call them virgin drinks at the b mocktails. Gross. And the thing is, they're British, so it's mocktails. No. Well, let's get a drinks menu. This is this is horrifying. I'm a little frightened. Here you go. Wow, look at all these drinks. He looks so annoyed to be there. Like, he looks so annoyed to be there. I'm very concerned. I don't even know what any of them are. What would you like? Just pick anything on the list and hope for the best. Um, okay. So you see all of these drinks. These are all bullshit girly drinks. And that is my specialty. My specialty is berry flavored or citrus flavored, like, monstrosities that are that have multiple kinds of alcohol in it and a ton of juice. So we're going to go with the citrus cooler because that is what I would drink. I'll have a citrus cooler, please. Coming right up. Well, these are virgin, so I've basically just asked for orange juice, but whatever. They've done this haul up so nice. Look at all the balloons and fairy lights and everything. I'm fr one citrus cooler for Ember Edwards. Thanks, Toby. Ooh. Tastes like lemonade mixed with passion fruit and bubble gum. Honestly, that is something I would drink. Like, I want lemonade mixed with passion fruit and bubble gum. I am I'm envious of her situation. Or at least her drink situation. Because her actual situation is going to go crazy soon. I'm so nervous. I don't even know what to say to him. Oh my god. And she looks so good. Like, she looks good. Because I picked that outfit for her. But she looks so good. And they're going to ruin it. I'm be, I'm gonna be very surprised if they didn't if they don't ruin it. Would you care to dance it? Or he's gonna ugh, I'd love to. Yes. Well of course. He is taking you to the prom. He is getting you drinks. Dance. I wish she'd done up her hair. I she it had to be in a ponytail, but like whatever. Thank God we're doing something to break the awkward silence. Mmm. You've described most dates on Tinder. Not that I would know. Alright. Look, girls, it's Ember and Toby. What is Hannah wearing to her prom that looks like something that you get out of the catalog of Urban Vintage in, like, the retro section, not the prom section? Like, it, it's just out of place. Um. Oh, my God. Fucking Iris. Oh, she's genuinely happy. Or she's not genuinely happy. I'm not sure. Look at them dancing together. I hate the way they run. We have to watch. I really like Iris's dress. I feel like it looks really good on her, and I didn't think it would, but it does. Okay. Ember's got the best dress, though. Like, she does. She has the best dress. Ember, I know it's early in the night, and we barely said two words to each other, but would you? Would you mind if I kissed you? Oh, my God. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I'm trying to think, because I have no idea what I would do in this situation. Like, I, I went to prom with friends, and I spent my prom kind of, like, hung up over a dude. So it wasn't like I was in this position. And the people that, like, would have done this, like, whether genuinely or not genuinely, they just weren't there. So it was, So it's not like... I have any frame of reference for this. And this is just kind of an awkward situation for a person to be in. So, oh, I almost hit maybe later. And I don't know if I want to pick that. So, 
what part of me wants to do is I feel like this kiss is going to set off whatever bullshit's going to happen that night. And I kind of want to put her out of her misery. But at the same time, I don't want him thinking that Ember's like, like loose or has like daddy issues. And Well, she does have daddy issues. You know what? I feel like she'd ask. I feel like she'd do it because she's desperate for that validation. So I wouldn't mind at all. Oh, I wouldn't mind at all. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm gonna do it. Can't believe I'm about to experience my first ever kiss. Oh, it's gonna go badly. I just fucked her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss ya. He's gonna do it. Ah! This is so cringe. This is the ultimate revenge. On who? On me or on Toby? Alice's idea. Of course it was her idea. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sad for her, but man, bullies are the worst. If you're a bully, I want to punch you in the face. I'm going to kiss Ember Edwards. I'm going to... Is he actually puking? Are you telling me he's puking? I don't understand it. She's a very pretty girl. Are you okay? I can't do it. Okay, I'm very, 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 very glad I did this now. Her prom is ruined, but at least she's going to open that door faster. Ha ha ha. Can't believe he was actually going to do it. Ugh, God, this is emotionally draining. Toby, you idiot. Did you actually believe you were going to get a kiss from me if you kissed Ember at... <gasps> wow. They look good in their dresses. I hate them, but they look good in their dresses. We just told you that we could, so that we could watch this cringeworthy moment. You, you were never gonna kiss me? Even after all this? You were never gonna kiss me after all this? I'm in debt because of you. Being Ember's date and all? Alice, you have to be kidding me. I had to go to her house and everything. The place was stinking. Well, it's her parents' fault, not hers. She's in an abusive environment. I had to meet her disgusting. Wow! I mean, they are disgusting, but, like, you don't have the right to say that. She has the right to say that. You don't have the right to say that. Wait, what's going on? Oh, my God, Amber. Amber, that means they're going to need to explain it to you. This is... Oh, man. Toby, you really think I would have kissed you after your lips touched Ember's? You're going to make me vomit as well in a moment. I just can't believe you and Aiden fell for it. Wow. It was so funny watching you fight over who was going to take Ember to the prom. Ember! Ember Edwards! Ha ha! I hate them. I hate them all. This is like the cruelest thing you could do to a person. Uh, I can't believe my lips nearly made contact with Ember Edwards. I'm going to be sick again. Wow, there's actually crap coming out of his mouth. I don't understand. Ivy, what's going on? Oh, Ember, Ember, Ember. I'm sorry for telling me lies. I really am. I, I, I knew it. I just, I knew. I knew. But I still wasn't prepared. Because I'm still upset for her. But I also had to get revenge on Toby and Aiden for embarrassing her a month ago. You see, they both out asked Alice to be their date for the prom in front of a lot of people. It really compromised her reputation and street cred to be seen being axed out by such losers. <gasps> wow! So this fucks over the dude, too. So she needed to get revenge. And the best way to get revenge was to make, was to make them fight over the least popular girl in school. After I spoke to you in the classroom, Alice approached Toby and Aiden and told them if one of them managed to get Ember to the prom and kiss her on the dance floor, they would win a kiss from Alice. Alice, like... She's pretty, but Ember's pretty, too. Like, this is mean. Of course the boys went wild. They've been dreaming of kissing Alice since the moment they, since the moment they first drooled over her. And they immediately went to competition mode to see who could win that prize. The thing is, is that, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ivy? But they were never going to win that kiss. We just made it up so we could watch them embarrass themselves. Okay. I just realized something. 
Hannah is by, well, well, right now, Ivy is a good contender for the top bitch, but she's more of a top bitch in that lackey kind of way. I don't understand why Hannah's in the back, because Hannah is truly, truly the alpha bitch. Like, she's the one who, like, is the meanest bully. She's doing the most. Alice just boys like her. So I don't understand why she's all the way in the back, especially because she's the only person of color. Why is the only person of color standing directly behind the redhead? That's weird. But I'm, I don't know, but let's do it. Toby, I thought you actually, I thought you actually liked me. Oh my god. No. Just, no. But when you came to my house, you told me that I looked amazing. She does. Don't say that she doesn't. I was trying to butter you up so you'd give me that kiss. I didn't mean it. Wow, he was going to take her first kiss from her. Oh, you're a horrible human being. Alright, uh, I didn't mean it. I can't take this anymore! Like, oh my god. Like, I know there's like 30 chapters of this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all 30 chapters of this without wanting to cry. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go home. I just want to lock myself in a room and never come out. There must be an empty room I could shut myself away in here at the school. Oh, she's going to find the thing. She's going to find the doorway. I hate the way they run. I hate the way they run. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Where am I? I haven't seen this part of the school before. Oh. This is perfect. This is the auditorium. No one's ever going to find me down here. I'll stay here forever. Man, the thing is she does look she does look cute. Eventually I'll wither away. 